everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Melissa Zurich from Zurich Designs and today I want to show you how I make my swan clasps and my figure eight links so I make these in bulk and I put them in little baggies but on the bags I write the gauge wire and how much wire is used for each one because I tend to forget so like for the clasps, I use two inches of wire for each one. For the links, I use one inch of wire for each link. And these are 18 gauge. 18 gauge wire is the size that I like. It's pretty sturdy and I use it the most. It's the size that I, that I make in bulk ahead of time. So today I want to make a few more sterling silver and I'm also going to make some copper. I got some copper wire from Parawire and a big spool. First I'm going to cut my wire ahead of time. Okay so for for my figure eight links I use one inch so I'm gonna cut myself a bunch of one inch. I have my little mat here. I'm not gonna count I'm just gonna cut a bunch. First I'm gonna cut the end blunt nice and flat. measure an inch make sure both ends are flush so I'm gonna use this as my template and I'm just gonna cut a bunch of one inch pieces going to cut two inch pieces for my 18 gauge swan class. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I have cut a bunch of uh, one inch and two inch pieces of copper and sterling silver to make some links and some clasps. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that now. Here's my round nose pliers. I'll make the figure eight links first. So it takes me a couple tries. Usually I'm a, a third of the way down of my round nose pliers, but everybody's round nose pliers might be different. So it just takes some trial and error to see exactly where you need to be on your pliers to get a nice equal symmetrical figure eight. And once you figure it out, you can mark your pliers with a um, Sharpie. But, um, I don't know. I think mine get worn out and I, I usually, they come out close enough. So that's not too bad right there. They're pretty even. So I usually stick around this area of my round nose pliers. But what I like to do, see how they're kind of curving in? Kind of like to straighten them out. So it looks like those two ends are flowing into each other. So just kind of flatten it out. So that looks better. Oh, here's one. So then I go through and I do it the same thing to the rest of them. my figure eights. That's about all my hands can handle. I have my little cup of stainless steel shot so I'm gonna throw them in and they're gonna wait for my swan clasps. All right come on over. 
So yeah, you're probably wondering how many I do. This is about all my hands can take in one sitting. This is actually a lot. I do as many as I can do before my hands get tired. So I'll show you how to do my swarm clasps. This is what they look like after I'm done. They're very cute, they're very sturdy, especially after I tumble them. If I don't tumble them, this little tip here would need to be filed. But if I tumble them for about an hour and a half, two hours, this guy, the tip here gets pretty smooth. So I just make them and throw them in the tumbler and that's all I have to do. Hardens them up, shines them up really nice. Okay, so I take the very tip, make a nice tight loop. Make it even tighter by smooshing it down. And you start swirling around, keep it nice and tight. And when I get to about that point, as you can see by this one, put that over. I'm about where I need to put my little space right here. That's where I attach jump rings or my little figure eight rings. So I need to put a space. So how I do that is I grab it with the very tips of my round nose pliers. Make the bend. Start bringing it around. Use my round nose pliers. Make another little loop like that. I want to bring the little edge of the, I call that the beak. Bring the little beak, grab the very tip of it, and bend it upward a little bit. Just like that. This one can be a little tighter. I didn't have quite enough at the end. But it takes some practice get it to get them nice and tight. So let's try it again. I cut myself two inches, but to practice, you can cut like two and a quarter inches. Okay, let's try to make this nice and tight. That's where I should put my bend, so I put a little space in there. It's pretty good. Not too much space. I bring my wire back this way, and then I use my round nose pliers to make the, my little swan head, which I go ahead and do like that. There, this one's a nice and tight. Beak up a little bit. There, that one turned out really nice. Okay, so I have to make all these. Let me see how far I can get, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, I got all my swan clasps done. So I'm gonna add them to my stainless steel shot. My little cup that come with me. I'm gonna set up the tumbler, and we'll get them tumbling. Okay, so I went upstairs. I usually set up my tumbler in our upstairs bathroom because it is so loud that I just don't want to listen to it for the next couple hours. So I go up here and here's my little cup of stainless steel shot. Put that there. I put a little dollop of soap. Just a little, that soap, that foams up pretty good. I put enough water to cover the shot and my little components. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid on. Once I plug it in, it's gonna start and it's gonna get really loud in here. So once I start that, I'll leave it up here cooking for 
about two hours and I'll be back when it's done. So here we go, plug it in. in. I rinse all the soap off. Kind of to dump everything in the drink. I went back to my craft room so I could set up my camera. So they're all in there and then now it's just a matter of picking them all out. these dry. Everybody kind of hooks on each other. Oh, look how nice they look. They're all smoothed out. I don't have to file. Just let them run for a couple hours. Forget about it. Go do something else. Come back and they're all done. So let's spread these guys out. Let them dry. All right, so there we go. So if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below if you have any questions, and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. I post new videos each week. I'll see you next time.